Friedrich Karl Rudolf Burgius, the 11th of October 1884 to the 30th of March 1949, was a German chemist known for the Burgius process for producing synthetic fuel from coal. Nobel Prize in Chemistry, 1931, together with Karl Bosch, in recognition of contributions to the invention and development of chemical high-pressure methods. Having worked with I. G. Farben during World War II, his citizenship came into question following the war, causing him to ultimately flee to Argentina, where he acted as advisor to the Ministry of Industry. Burgius was born near Breslau, Wrocław, within the German Empire's Prussian province of Silesia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academic career. Before studying chemistry, Burgius was sent to work for six months at the Friedrich Wilhelm Steel Works in Mulheim. His studies started at the University of Breslau in 1903 and ended with a PhD in chemistry at the University of Leipzig in 1907, after only four years. His thesis on sulfuric acid as solvent was supervised by Arthur Rudolf Hans. In 1909 Burgius worked for one semester with Fritz Haber and Karl Bosch at the University of Karlsruhe in the development of the Haber-Bosch process. On the same year he was invited to work at the University of Hanover with Max Bodenstein, who developed the idea of chemical kinetics and held a position as professor. Topic. Work Topic. Synthetic fuel from coal During his habilitation, techniques for the high-pressure and high-temperature chemistry of carbon-containing substrates were developed, yielding a patent on the Burgius process in 1913. In this process liquid hydrocarbons used as synthetic fuel are produced by hydrogenation of lignite brown coal. He developed the process well before the commonly known fischer tropsch process. Theodor Goldschmidt invited him to build an industrial plant at his factory the Th. Goldschmidt AG in 1914. The production began only in 1919, after the World War I ended, when the need for fuel was already declining. The technical problems, inflation and the constant criticism of Franz Joseph Emil Fischer, which changed to support after a personal demonstration of the process, made the progress slow and Burgius sold his patent to BASF, where Karl Bosch worked on it. Before World War II several plants were built with an annual capacity of 4 million tons of synthetic fuel. Topic. Sugar from wood The hydrolysis of wood to produce sugar for industrial use became a hard task for Burgius. After he moved to Heidelberg he started to improve the process and planned an industrial scale production. The high costs and technical problems nearly led him to bankruptcy. A bailiff followed Burgius to Stockholm to get the money from his Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1931. The autarky movement before the World War II boosted the process and several plants were built. Burgius moved to Berlin where he was only marginally involved in the development. While he was in Bad Gastein, Austria, his laboratory and his house were destroyed by an air raid. The rest of the war he stayed in Austria. Topic. International engagement After the war his citizenship was called into question because of his collaboration with I. G. Farben, resulting in his departure from Germany to work as an advisor in Italy, Turkey, Switzerland and Spain. He emigrated to Argentina, where he worked as an advisor to the Ministry of Industry. He died in Buenos Aires on 30 March 1949, and buried in the Cementerio Alemán next to La Chacarita Cemetery. Topic. Awards He and Karl Bosch won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1931 in recognition of their contributions to the invention and development of chemical high-pressure methods. In 1937, he was awarded the Wilhelm Exner Medal. Topic. References Topic. Further reading Kirstein, Gunther Burgius, Friedrich. Dictionary of Scientific Biography, 2. New York, Charles Scribner's Sons. pp. 3-4. ISBN 0-684-10114-9. Anthony N. Stranges 
Friedrich Burgius and the Rise of the German Synthetic Fuel Industry. Isis. 75 642-667. Doi 10.1086/353647. JSTOR 232411. Dietrich Stolzenberg, 1999. Fritz Haber, Karl Bosch und Friedrich Burgius, Protagonisten der Hochdrucksantes. Chemie in Unserer Zeit. 33 6, 359-364. Doi 10.1002 CIUZ.1999033067. Robert Hall, 1985. Das Portrait, Friedrich Burgess, 1884 to 1949. Chemie in Unserer Zeit, 19:59 to 67. Doi 10.1002 CIUZ.1985019025. Topic. External links Media related to Friedrich Bergius at Wikimedia Commons Bergius biography on Nobel site Newspaper clippings about Friedrich Bergius in the 20th-century press archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.